I'm Gene Bauer, and I'm here with John Joseph at his place here. I like to call it the Lower East Side, not, you know. So we're in the Lower East Side. East Village. Lower East Side, we're going to have a compassionate meal showing that you can eat plants, be healthy. John's an Ironman. He's done eight Ironman triathlons. He's been a vegan many years. I'm still out there competing in Ironmans. I'm still playing gigs. I'm still... The Cro-Mags, man. Cro-Mags and my new band, Blood Clot. A lot of the kids in the hardcore punk movement have been the real revolutionary and forward-thinking people. There's a, so many vegans and vegetarians in, in, in that music scene. It's really starting to take off, and it's due to people like you. And it all kind of boils down to the food. I call it my badass motherfucking tofu scramble. It's going to be in my new cookbook that I got coming out. All the ingredients are organic. So it's tofu, I like my greens and vegetables. Turmeric, anti-inflammatory. Ask for tina for you vegans that fall all the time. I know you're out there. And fenugreek, this is actually a, um, can help men. People are like, you know, what do you, what do you eat, salad? I'm like, motherfucker, yeah, I eat salad, but I eat all um, dope shit too. New I'm like, what do you, you eat? eat? Boiled fucking chicken breast for the last five months? Let me shut the lid up and start cooking, but that's sure. what this is about. I'm 54, I don't take no meds. Right. You know, I stay active, I keep my PMA. Which bad brings me up positive, mental positive attitude, like man. you got Huge. all all the Huge. time. Yeah, yeah, I fucking love news. it. This yeah, dude's yeah. the most positive. I've never had a conversation <laughs> with you where you were like, fucking mother, I'm stressed out. More and more people are starting to pay attention now and recognizing how food can change their lives. And not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. Absolutely. You know? Dude, look at those colors. Amazing. Are you, are you kidding me? Like smelling really good too. Don't lust too much. You don't want no drool in there, Gene. <laughs> and I use cooking as a meditation, man. I love doing this, you know. I came from foster homes where we had to steal the dog's fucking Alpo and biscuits to eat. So food, I always had, you know, a dangerous relationship with food, overeating. Like, I went through some bad shit and swelled the fuck up to fucking 200 pounds at one point. You know, so it's like, listen, man, I get it. I've been there. I've done that. And, you know, I'm just here to tell people, like, have a beautiful relationship with yeah. food. Yeah, and know? it can be a pleasant experience. It doesn't have to be drudgery, you know. And having a beautiful relationship with food, as you say, I think, is, yeah. is healthy. It's healthy. Food is our most, like, sort of intimate connection with the earth. And when we're eating food that is killing animals, killing the earth, killing us, it, it, it's, yeah. it's, it, we, and we don't need to do it. Like Malcolm X said, by any means necessary, that's how I live my life. So now we do... The nutritional yeast, which is very cheesy. Very cheesy. Yeah. You yeast. know when people say, yo, John, you're a cheesy motherfucker? Yeah, I am. Because look, <laughs> I use that. <laughs> Part of the shameless self-promotion. This recipe is in Meat is for Pussies. You can get this recipe. You too can eat like the celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. We're almost there, man. man. Gorgeous. I mean, look at the colors in that. Wow. You want protein? Here you go. But we got protein with greens and nutrients and all kinds of stuff. I don't get Gene over here that much, so I have to I have to pull all the stops. <laughs> and so the way we do things in my house is that the guests get served first, and then we're preparing our meals. It tastes amazing. I'm loving this. Yeah. And so when you think compassion, compassionate meal, and what does compassion mean? Well, I'm going to tell you what it means. You go eat what most people eat, which is a meat dairy based diet. Do yourself a favor. Follow that animal from its birth to it getting on your plate. And then you tell me you're going to have a positive mental attitude about what you're fucking consuming. Mm -hmm. That animal lived its entire life for you to eat a fucking hamburger. Is that right? Yeah. We are what we eat. You know? And, you know, and too often people are eating violence. One of the things I always say was I came from a very violent background. Mm -hmm. You know, I was in drug deals. I got shot in the leg. I was stabbed. I, I went to jail. I grew up being abused. And I've seen violence my entire fucking life. Like the worst violence. You, I've seen people get murdered in front of me on the streets of New York in the 70s. And it wasn't until I changed how I thought about what I was eating that uh, the real change came. Everything came out of that. With the farm sanctuaries, people can actually go 
and meet these animals and see that that's a living sentient being that has consciousness and feelings and emotions. It loves its child, its, its baby calves, the pigs. This is direct action, eating plant-based. You know, and, 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 and it, sharing it too, sharing it with others. Right, sharing it with others. I go out and feed the homeless. I work with Chili's on Wheels here in the city. We fed a thousand plant-based meals on Thanksgiving to the homeless. And that's what a compassionate meal is about. Respect for others. Respect for ourselves. Respect well, for the planet. This ain't about being a tree hugger, fucking vegan and this and that and a hippie. And this ain't, it ain't like that. The baddest motherfuckers on the planet now. David Carter, Rich Roll. M MMA fighters, the Diaz brothers. These um, are vegans, man. The Mac Danzig, yeah. like, dude, what's the weightlifter's name? Uh, um, Patrick. Babuya. Motherfucker's yeah. like a beast. Look at that dude. Where's the, where's the vegan, the, uh, the protein deficiency? Gonna eat that? <laughs> <laughs> but we have fun, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, He's yeah. a positive dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like, too, man. I love all your PMA, you know, messaging out there. And just yeah. really being an example. Right. At 54 years old, I want peace in my life. I want to teach others how to have peace in their life. And like we said once again, man, that peace has to start on the plate, man. I'm Gene Bauer. I'm John Joseph. And we just had a compassionate meal. And it's now your turn. A delicious compassionate meal. Yeah, yeah. and a healthy yeah. compassionate Get on meal. Get because we're coming for you if you go. That's nice, sir. <laughs> Perfect.